Hello and welcome to Super Smash Brothers League Season 3 Playoffs Week 4. I'm Snuffy Sam and I'm joined today by... Mario. And uh, we're getting uh, pretty far into this playoffs bracket right now. Uh, this week we just have two uh, losers matches. Yeah, so it should be a pretty quick week if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, I mean, if everything goes well. Uh... <laughs> I don't think we have any healing versus healing. Eh, we have a little bit. A little bit of healing versus healing. But it'll be fine. Oh, fun. <laughs> At least it's not Celebi versus Celebi. Yeah. If you remember that. Yes. It'll be fine. Uh, so, um, interesting. Like, the teams that made it this far, I did not expect. No one expected third wheels. That's all I can say. We're the Spanish Inquisition of, the, of, the, of this right now. <laughs> yeah, but, but I mean, like, okay, like... Looking at the top half of the league uh, versus uh, sort of the bottom half, uh, right? Third Wheels uh, is in the bottom half, was in the bottom half of the main season. Excalibur was in the bottom half of the main season. And Athletes were in the bottom half of the main season. That's a... Yeah. That's a pretty uh, intense. And I... the highest ranked team right now is Pine Size, which was number three in the main season. Our top two teams are both eliminated. So I'm honestly on the theory that it's the way the matches are handled, because some characters like might do better on the uh, on the t on the uh, squad strike, and some might just do better by themselves, like with the two you know with the two stock battles. Oh, oh, for sure, so, some characters do. And I'm thinking that that's why certain teams are like excelling more in in the playoffs. But I also think that also gives the t teams like more of a reason to pay attention and see what te what they're who does better with in the uh in squad strikes and who does better in the 2v2s during the playoffs mm -hmm. they try to like figure out what you should do and what you shouldn't do yeah uh but let's just get into our first match of the night probably one of the leading examples is the richter and simon <laughs> yeah so uh match one is team retro versus the athletes uh, Team Retro uh, has been doing uh, pretty well in these playoffs run. They just lost a match, but uh, past that, they had a pretty big uh, run of wins mm -hmm. against some strong oh, no, teams. They are tough. I can say that for sure. <laughs> and they, they have they have home team advantage this week, which uh, should be a benefit. I feel like they've been away the past few weeks. Yeah, what is their home map? Uh, pirate ship. Pirate ship. Oh, jeez, pirate ship. I remember uh, that taking out <laughs> quite a few characters this this uh, playoffs. <laughs> yeah. And they're facing off against the athletes. Athletes have had a pretty good losers run. Uh, they got uh, yeah. knocked into losers pretty early, but they've had a, a bit, big run back at it. Uh, they've uh, been doing well with all their characters except Duck Hunt. Mm -hmm. uh, so it should be uh, good to see. I mean, both of these just seem like pretty solid all-around teams. Yeah, and just like we were talking about before, it seems like a lot of these teams benefit from being able to do two stocks rather than squad strikes. So, mm -hmm. and honestly, if you want an epitome of those teams that do better in that regard, these two are very good examples. Yeah, uh, but let's just get into it. Uh, match one is or round one rather, is going to be Pit versus Min Min. Yeah. Pit, who is running uh, Forgetful Style Geese Howard level 9, mm -hmm. and Min Min, who is running level 9 Tank Style Ender Dragon. You know, I mean, Ender Dragon, like, in theory, doesn't match up very well against Geese Howard because Ender Dragon just gives you the Geese Howard and then you can use... A double uh, final smash. Yeah. yeah. And, then you, and then Geese Howard... Uh, unlike Ender Dragon, Geese Howard activates both stocks, so you can get uh, extra final smashes. But I say oh, that, yeah. but and in practice, uh, last week Min Min completely destroyed Diddy Kong. Who's... You're not wrong, no. Diddy Kong, I think it's just a combination. Min Min is a perfect, it's a perfect combination with Ender Dragon right now because mm -hmm. Min Min can keep the enemies at a perfect distance, but at the same time keep them stun locked for the dragon to do the damage. So yeah. Honestly, I mean, she she knows a thing or two about dragons. I will say. Yeah, yeah, you would say. 
so let's but just get into then it. Again, yeah, I was going to say, Pith, it's, uh, Final Smash has one of the hardest striking, has one of the hardest pushbacks in the game, so mm -hmm. this is going to be good. Yeah. So, let's get started. Uh, we're on Pirate Ship. Uh, Pit has used Pirate Ship to pretty good effect. Um, it's a pretty small uh, blast zone, uh, which means his Final Smash will kill fairly early. Yeah. <laughs> Although, he's sticking in the air because he knows he's... the Ender Dragon can't hit him. Oh. You know, that's something I kind of wish was a thing in the game, was mm -hmm. imagine the AI actively learns these characters, like what you do and how to treat certain things. Kind of like a learning AI. Yeah, I Wait, mean... Wait, was that it already? Yeah, Ender that Dragon was... already over? Yeah, Ender Dragon's already over. Uh, she only has tank style, not equipment style. If it was equipment style, it would increase the duration of Ender Dragon by 50% or something like that. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, which, which, of course, increases the damage by a lot. But, um, that being said, the damage though already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Pit has his final smash on deck. Um, that, I don't think this will kill at 20% uh, center stage. No. But, nah, she's a bit too heavy. She's kind of like Captain Falcon's yeah. weight. Yeah, if she was like, if she was like Sephiroth weight. Or <laughs> yeah, or if she was Sephiroth weight. Sephiroth is one of the latest. Is like top five latest characters in the game or whatever. That being said, though, that almost did get her to the Blast Zone. With this damage, I think that might... Yeah, it does kill, yeah. and Pit has a stock advantage. Granted, he's used both his uh, Geese Howards for this stock, so he'll want to um, want to get some extra Take credit his... in before he gets taken out. Yeah, and honestly, I might give the advantage to Pit right now, because the more damage he takes in this stock, the closer he's going to be to that final smash, so... Mm -hmm. If he can get to Final Smash uh, to take out the next stock, that might be Min Min's number right there. But Min Min, you need to knock out Pit now. Look at the damage. Uh, yeah, I mean, she's already at kill percent for his Final Smash, as we saw. Yeah. And that was at the middle of the stage, too. That wasn't, like, that wasn't, like, far to the right or two to the left. That was dead center, so. Yeah, because one thing Pitt's been fairly good at is baiting people to the edges of the stage, which is why his final smash has worked so well uh, on here. But it it works just fine on the center. Yeah, you know Min Min's about to use that final smash, too. Uh, yeah, she connects with it. That's gonna kill. But um, he's got half his smash Damn meter already, done. almost. Yeah, it's halfway through, and she has, and she's at kill percentage automatically with for Pitt's smash attack, so... Uh, final smash. That's... Not, not his smash attacks. His smash attacks will not kill. <laughs> let, let me be clear. Oh, Pit smash attacks will not kill at this percent. But that being said, look at the damage he's already racked on, though. Let's see. Can she <laughs> knock him out before the Oops. final smash comes into play? Uh, I guess Dragon beats Arrow. Yeah. I mean, if you take any, uh, read any uh, mythological story, and they'll tell you that. I guess. And, um... That's a dead Min Min. I'm sorry, Min Min. You are. Yeah, I mean, no she could she could do some stuff with the stage ledge grabbing. No, two framed. Yeah. That one's a that one's hard to dodge. I would imagine. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's possible if you're fast enough. But um, even the fast characters don't really know what to do with it. Same with Bowser's. Yeah, that I've noticed. Man, wait, go back to the damage. Yeah. How much damage? Did yeah, uh, Pet didn't do that much damage. <laughs> no, that was all finals. That was all, dang. But even still, you know, uh, build worked. Yeah, Can't I'm really just getting complain. flash. I'm just getting ba flashbacks to the season one uh, snake <laughs> snake final smash stage right there with how that looked. Yeah. Uh, but um, now we've got round two, which is going to be Samus versus Me Brawler. What are they running? Okay. Samus, CPU level 9, is running strategist style. Halberd, Silver the Hedgehog. Me Brawler is at level level 9, is running demon style. Halberd, Majora's Mask. Okay. Two Halberd characters facing off. Yeah, uh, so that's going to be... I mean, it more or less cancels out because it's just a defense. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, it's just stat boosting. It's not, it's not like... It's not like Gold Mario, where one character can, in theory, use it better than the other, right? It's, it's just, yeah. or healing. It's, it's just sort of a, an equivalent stat boost. 
But um, mm -hmm. with that said, this could go pretty fast uh, if Samus uh, launches missiles that could uh, uh, really rack up the damage on Mii Brawler with his Demon Style. And on the flip and side, Mii Brawler has those grabs. Yeah, but that being said, Samus is good at keeping enemies at a distance most mm -hmm. of the time, so if this is one of those cases where a, a close range can't get close to the range, mm -hmm. this could go Samus' way, but that's only if Samus is able to keep him at a distance. Yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, Samus versus Mii Brawler. So, of course, uh, Mii Brawler will start with 30 damage thanks to that Majora's Mask. Ooh, oh, exploding sidekick! Oh, right off the bat! Yeah, uh, only, I mean, geez, like 20 damage uh, and she had Halberd. Yeah. Which more or less halves your damage. And maybe it's the styles that are doing the difference. Let me check that again. Uh, I mean, Mii Brawler has Demon Style, and Strategist Style does also lower your defense, so uh, okay, there's yeah, that. that but, <laughs> but still, and um, Samus uh, still keeping the percent lead on Mii Brawler, though. I uh, feel like that kick would have killed right there if it hit. Uh, possibly. Uh, they were uh, sort of close to the uh, side, and this stage is a super huge horizontally. Oh, but man, me and Brawler making up the difference. That almost broke the wall right there. Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay, that kick. That that's, kick is always scary because you don't know if the AI is going to be smart enough not to go run into that kick or not. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we saw at the start of this Ooh. match, it's, it's not always guaranteed. True. And oh. yeah. Uh, me Brawler keeping the percent lead, but taken out, and that is that is rough for athletes. They they definitely want to win this match if they want to stay in this uh, win this round if they want to stay in the match. And oh. Samus is taken out. It's an even fight more or less. Oh, and she loses Correct. half her smash meter. Yeah, she did because she had just had her final smash at the last moment. And here's me Brawler's final smash. If See he if he uses, uses it. it or waits. Yeah, a lot of the AIs uh, don't seem to like. Uh, using it uh, when they have the chance, they like to wait for the perfect opportunity, and Mii Brawler does not seem to be using it. Oh, he connects! This will do good damage. Right Might at kill. the last moment, too. I don't think this is going to kill, though. No, and now she has her final smash on deck, which could be devastating. Think... Yeah. This one's hard to miss for her, so... Yep. Especially on a stage like this, uh, but does not kill. Yeah, if it was a little bit more damage, seeing how close that wall was to breaking. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And me Brawler has that percent lead, but as we've seen, Samus can kill uh, early enough where it doesn't matter. Oh, misses with that charge shot. That would have killed. Yep. It's gonna take. It's gonna take a throw or or a shot from Samus, but it's gonna take only one solid punch or kick from me Brawler to do this. Mm -hmm. And one good smash attack like that up smash takes out Samus, and now we are at 1-1. One, one. We are 1-1, one, one, yeah. That was a really close match, though. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Both teams should be very proud of their characters right now. Yeah, but now we have... Um, now we have round three, back to Pirate Ship with Pac-Man versus Terry. What are they running? Let's take a look. Pac-Man has CPU level 9, tank style, Ender Dragon. Terry is running a level 9 CPU with Forgetful style, Meloetta, and Shedinja. All right, so um, uh, Terry, yeah. I think, has been the better character overall, I would say. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Pac-Man, Pac-Man, is a is a good counter to Terry in the sense that Andrew Dragon is gonna rack up that damage, especially for a character that likes to be up to your face. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> who knows? Maybe Pac-Man will be a grappler again. Use thirty grabs in a match. <sighs> that was a, that was a weird one to say the least. <laughs> Oy. But that being said, there is a danger to getting Terry up to high percentage, and I think we all know why. Yeah. Uh, but, um, are you ready? 
I am ready. All right, so Pac-Man versus Terry. So Terry, of course, gonna start with 30% thanks to his Shedinja, uh, but he's going to have boosted defense because of it, which should uh, ideally mean less damage taken from this Ender Dragon. Oh, he's already trying to grab. You see that already? Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's trying. Uh, he's definitely trying. I do not know what's with Pac-Man. Maybe did, there wasn't a patch update, right? No, there has Maybe. not been a patch update. All of a sudden, Pac-Man just got grab happy. Yeah. I mean, the format changed maybe, but uh, Terry is up to about over 80%, over 90. Uh, but, um, you know, that, that could be better uh, if you want to get that early kill on him. Yeah, and Pac-Man is keeping that damage uh, in the 90s. I wonder if he's being smart and trying to keep him under 100, but... I mean, at some point, you've got to get him to kill percent is the thing. And Pac-Man doesn't kill particularly early, except with the key. Yeah. Oh, there's the ghost sauce. Yeah, for now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, Pac-Man's keeping him above 100. Uh, but he's not killing, which is a problem, because that means Terry has access to his go meter. Yep. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, he misses with that buster wall. And another one. Pac-Man is really dodgy today. Yeah, he's floating. He tried to smash. He tried to smash right there, but was interrupted. Ooh, the power geezer. And that just brings it back to even. Look at that. And now he's behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, both of these characters are kind of getting closer to their final smash. Uh, ooh, no. Pac-Man's taken out. He loses half his smash meter. Yeah. And now Terry connects with this final smash. This is going to do a lot of damage to Pac-Man. This, this, it isn't, it doesn't launch hot upward, does it? Nah. No, it doesn't. Uh, it launches horizontal, but uh, Pac-Man takes 15 damage from that uh, to start off this stock. Not great, especially since he no. has no build right now. One thing about the cutscene final smashes I noticed is that they also, if they have healing, they always have a chance to heal during that as well. So mm -hmm. that's just an added bonus. Oh man, he, <laughs> every time he goes above go, he's been using his... Uh, and using his, his buster, buster wall. wall. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good for Pac-Man. Is that in the kill? No, that is not a kill. Yeah. I, I mean, unless Pac-Man manages to trap him under the boat. But, oh, that's going to kill. Very nice shot from Pac-Man. I don't think I don't think Terry's going to allow him to get any extra damage, though. No, yeah. he's not. Uh, very, very wisely staying on the platform. Yeah, letting the immortality last. <laughs> okay, so... This is a hard match for Pac-Man to win and come back from. Especially since this match lasts any longer. Look at Terry already. Look where his uh, look where his uh, final smash meter is already is. Already at halfway. Yeah. And his final smash will kill Pac-Man at this point. And Pac-Man has no healing. No. So this is not going to be good for uh, Mr. It's not going to be good for Mr. Pac-Man if he can't kill. So. I think the, only the key has a, has enough striking power at this percentage, right? Um, yeah, I mean, nothing has enough striking power at this percentage except the ship. <laughs> I don't think Terry's going to be... Well, then again, there's been some random cases of people falling under the ship, so... It's possible. Well, we don't know how strong of a swimmer Terry is. He, he, look, he looks like a guy who is a lifeguard as a teenager. No, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> No. Commentator's curse. Commentator's curse. Uh, it was almost precise. You said, we don't know how much of a strong swimmer Terry is. Terry goes in the water. Wait, that's right. I don't know how to swim. I know. I ate an hour earlier. That's that's why Pac-Man throws the fruit. So his, so his opponents will get cramps. <laughs> You're right. He's just stuffing it in their mouths. <laughs> All right, oh, and I... um, oh man, that's rough for athletes. They're down two one. That was in their that was in the bag for them. Mm -hmm. But maybe that that's one of the reasons why they like that stage. That's one of the reasons why Retro likes that stage. Yeah, it is <laughs> because their characters are weirdly good at surviving the ship. I mean, not not perfect. We've seen them get killed by their own ship. But yeah. their characters are surprisingly good at surviving the ship. 
It's as if they... I think they live on that ship, actually. Maybe mm -hmm. that's why. Okay. So, you got a Dr. Mario versus a Me Gunner, or Sans. Mm -hmm. What are they running? They are running. Dr. Mario is a CPU level 9, Boulder-style Sothis, versus a Me Gunner, CPU level 9, Strategist-style Roll Casket, Shine Sprite, Weezing. So, Me Gunner, very projectile heavy, uh, very ranged, uh, lots of bombs. Whereas, Dr. Mario wants to get up in your face. And we've seen how that can be a problem. Uh, with that said, uh, Dr. Mario is a fairly good character. At one point, he was uh, Retro's Ringer. Yeah. But uh, a couple patches later, I guess, and something messed up in Dr. Mario. Well, also his build was banned. Steady. His, build, his season 2 build was banned. True. True. Yeah. But, um... I mean, uh, Me Gunner averaged higher than Dr. Mario in the main season, but uh, Dr. Mario, we've seen have pretty good comebacks, so uh, let's get mm -hmm. into it. Let's see if Dr. Mario remembers that escape reflex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, if, he, if he uses his cape well, uh, he could reflect a lot of those grenades back at uh, Sans. Or charge shots, too. <laughs> yeah. uh, Sans does not have charge shots. Oh, there's not this version? No, uh, I, they didn't give they didn't give her any. Uh, oh. Neutral special is grenade. Up uh, side special is uh, uh, the PK fire, and uh, down special is the bombs. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so the mm -hmm. so it looks like he's trying to reflect a lot of the grenades back, but it doesn't seem like it's doing oh. much of anything. And there goes the this. Wow, the thing so about his Sothis one is... Sothis for the match. Already. Do you know the thing about Sothis is it's like you're fighting with three stocks, in a sense. So. Sure, and one of those stocks is already gone, uh, with the second yeah. one halfway there. Oh yeah. And here comes the final smash. Do you think the final smash will come into play in in this match? Um, I mean, I think it'll use it. I don't think it will kill at this percent. It's going to have to be trying to push against the wall, so we have to see if it does or not. Uh, he uses it. Uh, it pushes him, but it doesn't kill. It just doesn't have enough Does knockback. It... Yeah, that's what I was to say. I don't think the pills have knockback. I think the literal thing about the pills is that they literally they... just, you know... Oh, oh, but Dr. Mario takes the first stock. Yeah, the tornado just knocks him out. But, um... But no, uh... Gunner's about to get their final smash, though. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, Dr. Mario's final smash. I'm just gonna using the pills to hit back the uh, gr hit back the bombs. But uh, Dr. Mario's final smash uh, does not kill particularly well on this stage. Uh, at high percents it can, but uh, not at like mid percents. Yeah. Ooh. Well, Dr. Mario. Oh my goodness, this. that that combo. Look at this. Still, I, I mean, Dr. Mario is buildless, okay. so to a certain uh, extent, he is still behind. You were saying something? Yes, no, sorry. Uh, the the percentage lead that, that Dr. Mario had was strong, but then all of a sudden, here comes Sans, bringing back that damage. Yeah, and Dr. Mario will definitely want to uh, connect with this final smash, uh, try and take the pressure off, but he's taken out, and we are going to goes. round five. We are going to round five. My word, Dr. Mario looked like he almost had it too. But that's the issue with the stage, though, is that it, it gives some very strong upsets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, yeah, a very, very good performance from both fighters. But now we are going to round five, the final round, Simon versus Wario. This is very tense. The, I mean, it's the tournament, the tournament uh, stock for both of these teams. Uh, what? What are their builds? We got Simon, CPU level 9, Big B style, Polar Bear, Balrog. And we have Wario, CPU level 9, Boulder, Gold Mario. Yeah, so both of these characters are armor characters. Yeah. Except one is a uh, faster moving uh, armor while one is slower. Mm -hmm. So with Simon and Richter, 
that doesn't really matter all too much because they, they have like projectiles for days. Yeah, and Simon tends to do really well on pirate ship. Um, what are you thinking? Who's gonna come out? Wario has not been the strongest contender anymore. So, and Simon and Belmont, I mean Simon and uh, Richter, mm -hmm. have been showing great promise in the in the playoffs. So honestly, I'm putting my money on Simon today. Yeah, I mean, I I, I think it might be. I think it might be Simon. I mean, Rick. I mean, Wario is uh, pretty fast. He's got a command grab, which could heal him. Uh, that could really help him against Simon. And of course, there's always the X factor of the ship, uh, which Simon tends to do yeah. well with. But uh, Wario, with his better it air mobility, could uh, could mess Simon up. So let's just get into it. All right. So. I also notice they have some matching color schemes right now. <laughs> uh, that, that is true. Uh, a bit of uh, some yellow, I guess. Yeah. Dang, so Mario just armored through all of what Simon just threw on his bike. Does uh, I forget, I always forget. Does the bike ever have a recharge time when it breaks? Um, no. Or can he just bring it I think he can just bring it. Out? I think he just can just bring it instantly back out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but, um, I mean, it, it's not relevant in, like, normal competitive play because when your bike breaks, you also took damage. But here, because of the gold Mario, uh, uh, I think Wario could, in theory, get his bike broken and then immediately take it out again while the pieces are falling. Yeah. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but, uh, but, uh, the bike doesn't alter with the polar bears, the spirit, right? So if Wario's on it, he's just normal speed on the bike, right? Yes. Huh. Um, I forget if they ever ran, like, slow-moving armor Uh on Yes, they've, they've run Polar Bear on him before. It just hasn't worked very well in the past, I don't think. Oh, okay. That being said, though, look at the damage. They're not that far different in terms of damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. Richter just pulling ahead right there. He's not Richter. Say that. I mean, Simon, sorry. <laughs> Similar builds, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Can you keep him off the, state, the ship, though? That's nope. the question. But yeah, I mean, the oh. more you keep him off the ship, the more chances he has of uh, getting shipped. Yeah, just falling right into the water. Okay. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, uh, Simon is getting some good damage in. He manages to throw oh, Wario off the stage, but Wario brings the bike back out. Oof. Ooh. And now Simon is off stage, but uh, he recovers to ledge. It's fine. Yeah, luckily he has a, he has a good recovery to get back on the Ooh, stage. Ooh, oh, the waft. Ooh. Wario is patient. He was, I forgot he had that in his arsenal. Mm -hmm. I thought he already fired it. Yeah. Uh, but it, if, if he is... had used it, you would have known. <laughs> True. And now the both of them is... have their final smashes. Oh, Simon misses. Yeah. Oh. And is this the... Uh, Wario, uh, is he going to use his final smash? Yeah, that's going to do decent damage to Simon. Take him up like above 30 or 40. Yeah, just yeah, around 34. 34. Yeah. This is not a good sign for, uh... It's not a good sign for Team Retro right now. Yeah, Simon needs to get that first kill soon. He does. Because he's already almost... Over. He's already at 60%. Oh. Isn't this where the... Oh, wait, no, the hazard's off. Right. Yeah, ha hazards are off, when they Hazards are off, except for uh, the, ship. the ship, which doesn't count as a hazard, apparently. Even though it's the most hazardous thing in the game. <laughs> yeah. It just kills you no matter what. It doesn't count as a hazard. Oi. Okay. Wario's just trying to drown him right now. <laughs> and they're playing uh, hot potato with that holy water. Yeah. And I think, I don't, I'm not sure this is winnable. 
No. Simon will need Wario to fall by the ship on his second stock if he can even take this stock right now. Mm -hmm. Like, he's just Holy. completely being outplayed. Yup. Wario has his number right now. Oh, Wario has his waft ready too! Killed by double waft. I think yeah. we're gonna need to call the emergency services on him because I think double waft might just be, uh, might just destroy your sense of smell. Yeah, Ooh. um, and there, there we go for, uh, the, there we go for, uh, Simon, uh, put up a good fight, wasn't able to do much against Wario, unfortunately. And athletes moving on to the next round, uh, Team Retro getting eliminated. Athletes are going to fight the winner of this next match. Oh, yeah. So with that, yeah, on to the yeah, next I'll... match. Mm-hmm. So for match two, we have Team Excalibur versus Team Pine Size. Uh, so uh, also teams that have had a pretty strong playoffs run. Uh, Pine Size has mostly been running through losers. Excalibur has mostly been running through winners. Uh, but um, uh, even still, two strong teams gonna face off two with each other. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't make it here. They didn't make it here because. Uh, because they were got lucky. No, these team, the teams who have made it this far, are strong and are are poised to give us a good show. Yeah. Um. So looking at these lineups, there's a few matchups I see that could be uh that could cause some troubles. I think Ike is on a new build. Uh. I mean, Pine says just has such an all-around strong team, whereas Excalibur has mm -hmm. a bit more uh, peaks and valleys. But, uh, ready to get into the first round? Oh, yeah. We have Ike, CPU level 9, Demon Style, Halberd, and Gulligan, versus Olimar, CPU level 9, Big Beast Style, Gold Mario. <laughs> so, damage versus tank. Ooh, okay. Yeah, um... Though Ike also has, Demon, uh, also has a Halberd to lower to uh, boost his defense. Yeah, to counteract a bit of the demon style. Mm -hmm. uh, but I guess, are you ready to get into it? Oh, well, I am ready. Let's see how well this goes. Um, yeah, in this I matchup? Mean... Mm -hmm. I think in this matchup, I think Ike has it, because Ike is consistent, so. I mean, Ike is consistent, and he isn't hurt so hard by uh, Gold Mario because of his heavy hits. Yeah. Like, he doesn't really rely on combos. He just needs one and good how, up smash. And how light is Olimar? Uh, fairly light, but he has big B-style. Ooh, look at the damage already racking up, though. Yeah, I mean, the chip <laughs> damage, Ike doesn't really know how to deal with it. No, I guess not. And those little Pikmins that, that Olimar is just sticking on him are actually doing quite a bit of damage. Mm -hmm. Oh. But that being said, every time Ike gets close and swings, Olimar is losing Pikmin, meaning he is going to have to keep replacing them. Yeah, but even still, Ike is for being forced to use his attacks to get rid of the Pikmin instead of, uh... On Olimar. Instead of on Olimar, yeah. Look at the damage. He's already at 100. Mm -hmm. Olimar, yeah. I am sorry for questioning you. Yeah. With a few <laughs> hits, uh, Ike has gotten... Olimar up to over 60. Oh my goodness. Oh my word. Ike, I'm sorry. Don't burn down my house, please. <laughs> don't, yeah. meet me, don't meet me down in a dark alleyway, please. Now we forget, this is King of Fighters Stadium. This is where sword fighters come to play. Yeah. Oh man. So Olimar right now, it's not going to take much for Olimar to finish off Ike at this dock, but I'm sure Ike is just going to want to do as much damage as he can. Actually, I think all of, I think at his percentage, if he gets him close to the wall, I think his final smash can kill Olimar early on. Um, no, because Ike's final smash takes you center stage no matter what. 
Oh right, I thought. Oh, I thought this. Was oh, the and the final the smash. Spread. That's going to uh, potentially deal a lot of damage, but he avoids the explosion. And Ike connects with his final avoid. smash. That's going to take Ike up to. That's going to take Almar up to over fifty percent. Yeah. Yep. Not enough to kill, but the damage is done right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, is Ike... he? Are we? Is he? Is he going to go up to two hundred percent? No, uh, um, Ike taken out at 180. And that's the thing about Olimar, he doesn't have that many great kill moves, especially on this stage. Yeah, the damage rack racking up is certainly something. What is it? I think you need the the pink, the purple fat Pikmin in order to... Uh, in yeah, order I to mean, that's, really... that's his primary KO moves, but e even still, he mostly specializes on like getting people off, too far off the stage to recover. He doesn't really kill that people outright that often. You're, you're not wrong, no. His up smash is also fairly good, in general. So, any heavy attack is could be dead, death for Olimar right now. Or even a medium attack. You're not wrong. Ooh. What is, like, what do you what do you think is the, what is the average for them? Like, do they always get killed per, uh, per match? Ike's, Ike's average is 1.3 kills per round. Uh, per match, and uh, Olimar's average is uh, 1.0. Okay, so not that far off. They always get a kill at the least, but oh, you cannot. It looks like a Battle of the Titans right now by the looks of it. Yeah, I mean, it looked like it was going to be Ike's uh, game for a little while, but then uh, Olimar managed to bring the percent back up. Ike's over 80, but he takes out Olimar. I think it's what it's. I think it's exactly as you said. The kill. Olimar does not have strong kill moves to break through the barrier, which mm -hmm. I think is what gave Ike the advantage he needed. Yeah, very close match in terms of damage. But, um... Ooh. Yeah, I, I mean, Ike was just, uh, just had more KO power. And that's just... What it, that's just all it comes down to. Yeah, heavier characters tend to do better in, that, in the uh, King of Fighters stadium. Mm -hmm. But now we have the away match, which is going to be on... Kalos Pokemon League. The Kalos Pokemon Stadium? Let's see. And we are going uh, okay. to have Robin versus Inkling. What are their builds? Robin, CPU level 9, strategist style, Meloetta, Shedinja. Then we have Inkling level 9, forgetful style, Ender Dragon. Yeah, um, Ender Dragon versus Meloetta is rough, I think. It is, because. At the same time you can get in to start doing damage, Meloetta is going to start healing that away. Mm -hmm. And of, of course, uh, Ender Dragon only activates once per match, whereas Meloetta is permanent. Yep. So this is going to be interesting, to say the least. Yeah, I think it's this is uh, Robin's match to lose, but we'll see. We've been saying that, and we've been proven wrong a few times, so <laughs> let's see if it's one of those situations. Yeah. I don't think it would. I don't think it is, but... We'll see. Yeah, so Ramen, of course, starting with 30%, but higher defense, thanks to his Shedinja. And, of course, we can't discount Kayla's Pokemon League. Uh, Robin might have trouble uh, with this stage, with the platforms that extend off the edge. Uh, Inkling might be able to uh, get Robin uh, too far away. Yep. Hmm. Just seeing that all, seeing that 50 go to 30 like that, mm -hmm. that's not gonna, that's gotta look rough. <laughs> Yeah, like, that's the thing. Nosferatu heals Robin by so much. He's over 50 now, but for how long? Yeah. And then, not only that, look how much damage he can he dealt to Inkling in a, in just one clash. Yeah. Uh, is that a... Okay, I thought that was a spike right there. I thought that was a spike. Yeah, but... Oh, uh, right now, I mean... Already, like, Inkling's build is gone, and already Inkling is behind. Honestly, the way I see it right now, the way I, uh, Robin is playing, mm -hmm. it's literally the soldier versus the general right now. <laughs> like, Inkling is trying to get clo up close and personal, but Robin just knows how to counter it all. Like, every time Inkling gets close, it, Inkling's the one sent flying all the time. Yep. And, oh, uh, gets, gets hit back by that recovery, but manages to make it back to stage and KOs Inkling with that up B. 
Uh, this is yeah. not looking good. I'm not sure this is winnable at this point. I don't think so either. This is gonna, if Inkling doesn't somehow pull an upset right now, this is gonna be a very stop charging your down smash. Just use it. <laughs> anyway, the finals. <laughs> Look at that. She keeps just walking up and then holding a bucket, like. You kick a guy, he you, falls you, on the ground, and then you walk up there and stand there with a bucket, and then don't use it. Yeah. Oh. Inkling's almost out of final smash, which will kill, maybe, if he doesn't use Nosferatu. Okay. So... This is, this is an uphill battle right now, if I've ever said. If I've ever seen one. The... Out of ink too? Are you kidding me? Oh, is this gonna at least get uh, a stock? Robin, oh, gets up off the ledge. He shouldn't have done that, and he gets taken out. I think with the downer angle, it would still hit, right? Uh, no, the ledge invincibility. Uh, and if he had dropped off the edge, he could have gone uh, further down and uh, possibly survived it. But even still, angling's just a too high percent. Yeah. So, the only way I can see it happening right now. Is Inkling needs to get a good, is needs to get a spike, needs to get him off stage and spike. Mm -hmm. But is Inkling able to do that though? Is a question. I, I don't I don't know and um, I mean Robin taking Inkling back into the air off stage. And then let's not forget about that final smash meter right there. Look how close Robin is. Yeah, I mean not super close, but there we go. The dash attack takes out Inkling, and. Excalibur is up 2 well. Yeah, that's not good. Ooh. Uh, not a huge difference in terms of damage, but just with how much Robin healed, Inkling just wasn't able to really get a foothold. No, no they weren't. And now this could be Pint Size's final round. Uh, we've got uh, Cloud versus Kirby. Uh, what are they running? Cloud versus Kirby. Let's take a look. We got Kirby level 9, tank style, wheezing, Victini, Reaper Repet. And for Cloud, CPU level 9, Big B style, Gold Mario. Yeah, so, I don't know. I think Gold Mario might have an advantage against Kirby. Kirby depends a lot on his uh, aerial combos. Yeah. And Kirby relies a lot on hit stun too, which mm -hmm. Gold Mario does often negate, so. It does entirely negate, yes. Yeah, so this is gonna be a rough match for Kirby. Mm -hmm. But let's just get into it. Uh, Cloud versus Kirby. So right off the bat, Three, two, uh, uh, these two are gonna go at each other, and Cloud gets the first hit. Yep. Oh, and he—he's just—they're—they're they're dancing around each other right now. Like mm -hmm. none of them can land a solid hit on each other right now. Yeah, which I'm not sure Cloud needs to dance around Kirby. I feel like he should let Kirby come to him and then uh, just, just follow up with smash attacks. Yeah. The uh, the Kirby is on the other hand is a. Uh, I don't know what Kirby can do. I think what Kirby needs to do, I think the smartest thing for Kirby to do, absorb Cloud when he has a chance, mm -hmm. and then use his own sword beams against him. I forget, is Limit one of the things Kirby can take? No, or absolutely not. Because okay. I know Kirby can take some pretty ridiculous things from his opponents. Um, not really. The only uh, really good thing that Kirby, the only really amazing copy ability is, um, Hero, is, uh, he uh, Monado Arts. Uh, hmm? The Monado Arts, yeah. Can he also take Hero's, uh, Hero's, uh, spells? No. He only takes neutral bees. Okay. Hero's no, neutral no, no. bees is just... a fireball. Okay, I was just curious. Because I never really play Kirby. <laughs> yeah. Nor do I actually see Kirby's online. Yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness, that, that kills? It bounced up high enough, and you, and Kirby is known to be extremely floaty. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think I can see Kirby pulling this out. Do you? Yeah, I mean, he's got his final smash almost on the... almost ready. If, once, if he connects with his final smash, then he'll take out Cloud. Uh, probably, he's all the way at the other side of the stage, so this might not have been a, the best... No, he doesn't. This was then the yeah, I don't the think that's way. winnable. Yeah, he needed to point it the other way. If he pointed it the other way, it would have killed, but it didn't. I, I think that's it for our team Pineside. Yeah, I, I wouldn't really count it as bad fighters, as just bad matchups. Like, the prediction mm -hmm. game was key on this, and it was not in Pineside's favor, was it? Yeah, no, and... Uh... So Cloud has his final smash. If he connects with it on Kirby, it'll take him to center stage and probably kill. But he has to use it before it goes away. Ooh, and he wastes not. it. So Kirby has a chance. In, to an extent. Yeah, well, Unless limit... he gets hit by one of those. <laughs> that killed him last time, but then this time. Mm -hmm. I think he teched off the wall? Yeah. Ooh. Can Kirby at least take a stock? That's what that's the question is right now. Mm -mm. Nope. Wow. And a definitive 3-0 from Team X Caliber. Yeah, I'm sorry, Team Pine Size. It was a battle of the prediction and it wasn't your ma it wasn't your favor. Yeah, they needed to have Killager and Ice Climbers up front. Yeah. Uh, but um Yeah, and that is a... Uh, that is it for uh, Retro and Pine Size. Uh, next ma next week will be uh, Third Wheels versus Beefcake, Third Wheels versus Beefcakes, and Athletes versus Excalibur. Any predictions for next week? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, but um, I mean, ju just to let let people know, uh, we'll be going on a break uh, for next week. Uh, mm hmm But um, so that means uh. Keep an eye on the Discord for any of the chats and and reminders of when the when the league comes back, and yeah. of course, make sure you give support to the t to the teams. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to, if you want to help any of them out, it's not too late to join a team and get and help them out as much as you can. Yeah, and but yeah, just just remember that uh, because next week is a break, the following week is when the patch 13.0 releases for Smash Bros. Ultimate, uh, which mm -hmm. means which means the uh, next playoffs week. Uh, we'll have uh, access to Hollow Bastion if you want it, and it'll also <laughs> have uh, some characters buffed and nerfed, so t keep a lookout for that. I am scared of what the nerfs are going to be. <laughs> or the buffs, actually. Yeah. So, uh, that's all for this week. Uh, bye, everyone. See you, guys.